Last we left off, Diddy and Dixie were hard at work. Well, mostly Diddy was hard at work because Dixie is lazy and doesn't want to do anything. What a mean old biddy. Charge! Well, that didn't last long. Did it on guard. Little jerk. Left already. Given up on the cause. Ooh, look, there's an N. That'll go real well with my not K and O. Hey, there's a Shuri. Hey, Shuri. I know I'm not talking about some kid of Tom Cruise. That's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Get that out of your minds. Hey, you. What's down here? Why, it's a secret passage with banana tokens. Well, thank the good... Oh, crud. Oh, get back here. Hey. Um, this is really going badly. You know that? There we go. Jeez, H, flipping thing of a flip. All right, let's get up here. And let's charge. That's why you want to charge, so you can get this. And then you can swim in the air. Well, that time he didn't swim, but that's okay. Oh, well, let's do this. <laughs> oh, we missed the one-up balloon. See, he's got more of an echo this time. Way to go, Diddy, you rap master champion. And as, as uh, in Donkey Kong Country, if the name starts with ends with an exclamation mark, you got all the bonuses. And if there's a DK coin, you got the DK coin. Here's another new character for you. Swanky, who runs the bonus bonanza. That's hard on the eyes. Oh, let's play Swanky Swag. What is your name? Well, I think it's Swanky. First enemy you see in the game. It's a furry rat. Yes, I am a clever little monkey. Gangway Garbage. Gangland Galleon. <laughs> and if you win the lowest game, you get a single one up. You win that one, you get a two up. And you win that one, you get a three up. However, I don't feel like playing anymore. All I wanted was his 1%, and he fell for it like a sucker. Hey, look. What in the hell is that? Is that a bucktooth snake? Yep, and it's a bucktooth snake that can jump. This guy's name is Ratley. And he, unlike the other guys, can't do an extra physical attack. But he can do a charge jump that allows him to get up to ledges he couldn't otherwise reach. This will probably come in handy later on. I bet you I do's. Like, say, right here. Whee! There's a bonus barrel. Good for Ratley. What a wonderful little snake. Destroy them all. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Yes. These are flitters. Not sure why dragonflies are hanging out with the Kremlings, but... What do I know about Kremlins? Not much, apparently. Because I don't know why they're hanging out with flitters. Now, here's a thing early on in the game. If you don't know how to do the charge, this can be tough to make. Because you probably have to abandon the snake, like I just did. Hey, snake. He's also really slow getting away. He's not the he's not the brightest bulb in the bunch, you know? It's over there. Oh. Oh, well. I'm not going to go check. That's too much work. Screw that. Sweet. What do I get for the snake? Hey, a banana token, because I need one of those. All right. Let's do this, then, shall we? Let's climb. Climb, climb, climb. Hey, zinger. Bye, zinger. Incidentally, next time I go across a, a rope with Diddy, watch how he how he moves with his arms. I love how he, he moves across just so badass. He isn't like uh, Chicky Poo who does it with two hands. Now he just does hand over hand. Oh, look at this secret thing that there's no way to know it's there. But hey, there's a bonus barrel for your efforts. Don't know why the hook is hidden. I'm not sure how you're supposed to know it's there, but there you go. Okay, we got to be careful here. This one actually can follow you up now and then. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. So concerned and, and worried. And fortunately, we can't throw ourselves up to that rope. So let's just jump our way back. That was dumb. Oh, well. Got him back. Oh, clinger. You are a clinger. Oh, there's a DK coin. I know. They actually make you work a little bit for stuff in this game. Not as much as they did at Ducky Country, where they just blatantly out and out hide it with no knowledge of what could possibly be ahead. Oh, look at that. Three up balloon. Those are rare to find. The other reason to come here is to do this. So now you got a free shot at this, and here you go. Yeah, that's right. She lays on to that guitar pretty nice. 
However, I still don't like her. And then finally, the last member is Funky from Funky's Flights. And he seems to have devolved his plane from a jet to a biplane. And the first time you hire him, it's two coins. And you can again, you can fly anywhere, but I can't go anywhere, of course. So let's do this back to where we were. And if you go in there again, this time it would be free. And it's always free after you pay the first time, provided you save. But let's go take on the first boss, Crow. And who else would Crow be? But it's a Neki wearing a freaking vol or wearing a, a pirate's hat, wearing the Jolly Roger. So jump on the egg, let him run into the egg. And if you're really daring, you can throw someone over the top and get two hidden coins. I got lucky I should have been hit there, honestly. Because if Kong gets hit after he's thrown, he's gone. Or she's gone. And now he's all dizzy. He's all like, what's going on, man? And then he starts knocking eggs all over the place. And once one falls on the deck, that's when you are set. You hit him again. And you think, now what's he going to do? Well, he's going to do the same damn thing. See, that egg's going bye-bye. That egg's going bye-bye. That one might stay. No. That one's going to stay. It's a certain distance away they got to be. You're dead. And let's put in someone who counts. Yeah. And you get you get a bonus coin for taking out a boss. Sweet. Yes. All right. We are done. And as you can see, Gangplank Galleon is clear. So on to the Crocodile Cauldron. And oh ye gods my eyes. Always so bright, always so nasty. Hey, you go up there. What's up here? I can't... Oh, uh, wait, what's this? Oh, that's pretty tricky. Look at the coloring of that, that chest. It is dark. But it's got a two up in it. Hey, that barrel attacked us. That's not cool. Yeah, she may have noticed these barrels are like attacking us. Get used to it. They like to show up in this game. <laughs> I just took out one of his buddies. No, those, those heads, you can jump on them. But you just got to be uh, careful. The brown ones will launch you in the air a bit. So use them to get across big gaps. Sometimes the green ones will sink in and out. Although I think, don't think they do that on the lava area. Hey, you, what's up? Ooh, a cannonball. Anytime you find a cannonball, bring it along. It's probably going to lead to a bonus round. Another really cool thing is that, that uh, cannonball is not perfectly round. If you watch it when it drops, it actually will uh, roll. And it actually shows an uneven uh, shaving to it. Just a neat little add-on of the game. Neat little detail. All right, let's put her in there just for fun. Even though I'm not going to use her hair, I just wanted to put her in for a bit. Just for those who say I'm not about equal rights, of course I am. I think she has every equal right to be in the kitchen and doing the laundry and et cetera, et cetera. Sexist joke. What the hell is that? You know what that is? That, my friends, is a spider. And he spits webs by pressing Y. He can also let out webs like this. You, you can do it with L or R to make these plat once to shoot it, once to set the platform. So that makes him an incredibly useful little dude. And that was a hidden old, uh, A also works of course, but that was a hidden uh, DK coin, because there's no real indicator it's there. It's probably only the second time through you'd think to look really. And now you may be saying, well now what? We could take those heads across, but when you've got Squitter, you have got freedom. Squitter is amazing. Hey look, banana's leading upwards. That can't mean anything, can it? No, sir. But yeah, Squitter is awesome. He is easily my favorite uh, animal from the whole series, bar none. He's not the most versatile, necessarily, because he doesn't change anything up. Squawks is the most versatile, because he has so many different jobs. But this guy is definitely tops for my favorite of the heart. Run through the side of the screen. Yeah, good boy. Don't take the door, a diddy. Don't be a follower. Be a doer. Hey, you. You dead. Oh, let's take the shortcut, because I'm lazy. Whee! Oh, if only I knew how to get to that bonus room. Oh, wait, I do! Squid are so awesome. Oh, we just got to find our way forward. This is pretty tough. I don't know if we can handle it. Whee! Ah, good work, Diddy. Good work, buddy. And we land back here. In case you somehow screwed it up, you get another shot at it. But there goes our spider. Alas, we cannot keep him. And Diddy will wrap us out here with yet another banana token. 
I should probably make use of those, but you know what? Why? Let's just see how high I can run the total. I'm a big miser, what can I say? Okay, so we have this here, which is Clubus Kiosk, and we've got a new level called Cannon's Claim. Well, let's go see what's up with Clubus Kiosk. Holy shit, that is a big guy. Now, here this landlubbers. Clubber. Many pieces of eight. That's money. Fifteen coins. Well, we've only got fourteen. So, should we try to pay him a nothing? Should we fight him? Or should we run away? I don't know. I guess you'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out the thrilling conclusion to this standoff where he's thumping his club. Diddy is juggling for some reason. And Dixie is playing with bubblegum.